Um, so uh, unfortunately, there's some changes to today's programming. Uh, Hannah Loftus from HAP Projects is unwell today. Uh, so there's a slight change to this session and timings. Uh, we think we'll be finishing a bit earlier than the scheduled time for lunch. So we're gonna have a longer lunch break uh, and then we'll be back at two uh, for this afternoon session. So this uh, section is around uh, maintenance and change. Um, any event like this, you know, I don't know if you go to kind of uh, on conferences or conferences or uh, meetings or gatherings, um, it's, we're bound to have a kind of, you know, something and change section. It can be a bit of a cliche, but we thought we really wanted to still think about this, especially thinking about the role of maintenance uh, and stewardship in a time of such drastic change and how, how maintenance can kind of help us manage some of that change as well. So we have a climate emergency, we know we have an aging population, we are in an energy crisis, um, and all of these are huge problems requiring, re requiring really radical solutions. But we wondered about kind of, you know, what happens when these solutions just seem impossible to achieve, um, particularly when there doesn't really seem the kind of, you know, centralized appetite to really you know, work together to achieve them. We also know that the world isn't it's just not quite as simple as thinking about kind of problems and solutions. Um, so I myself work in tech, in tech and I talk a lot um, to people about kind of this idea of, you know, there being a problem and, you know, tech being uh, creating a solution. But I know really deep down that, you know, this is quite a limited framing of the world. You know, limit, real change is really complicated uh, and requires all sorts of different practices. So we're instead left to think about kind of what to maintain to sort of steward the, the sorts of changes that, that we see coming our way. Retrofit is one such example. Uh, so Hannah was going to talk a bit about this today, but unfortunately she's not here. Um, but in terms of thinking about uh, what we're going to talk about today uh, with Paulina, um, we heard a really wonderful quote from Liz this morning around about how tradition is not the worship of ashes, but the preservation of fire. Um, which is something that you know, just like will really stick with me. I absolutely love that quote. So how can we use these maintenance practices to change and adapt to these new conditions? You know, what do we choose to take forward and what to leave behind? I'm here to introduce Paulina. Um, I'm going to hand over to her in just a second. Um, she's going to talk to us about what survival means for Buddhist temples in depopulating Japan and about the maintenance of economical, social and material support networks as well. So Paulina, over to you.